Women for years have traded stories about being sexually harassed by a top Maricopa County prosecutor. Women accuse him of grabbing and touching them, undressing them with his eyes, and subjecting them to verbal assaults. They say Juan Martinez offered to guess the color of their underwear, climb them like trees and statues, get rid of their husbands or boyfriends, or take them to Las Vegas. Said they hid from him in bathrooms, crossed the street when they saw him coming, avoided getting into elevators with him. They warned each other when they saw him coming. He'd say, oh, you know, I like blondes. Or he'd say, oh, I'm a boob guy. Martinez's behavior for years went largely unchecked by those in positions to stop it. County attorneys overlooked conduct that could have ended in termination. Judges rarely called him out. And the organization charged with regulating lawyers routinely dismissed complaints against him. Martinez is one of Arizona's most high-profile attorneys. His name is synonymous with death penalty convictions. He categorically denies sexually harassing women. He maintains they either lied about what happened or misinterpreted his actions. His attorney has said women made up stories to get back at him. The Arizona Republic documented the cases of 17 women who say Martinez harassed them. They include law clerks, judicial assistants, a defense attorney, trial bloggers, and a juror. It would be easier to come up with a list of women at the courthouse that he had not sexually harassed than the list that he had. I had, I can't even tell you how many women said that to me. It'd be easier to tell you who he didn't than who he did. One woman said he grabbed her buttocks during a trial. Another woman says he shoved her face into an evidence box containing the rotted clothes of a murder victim. He took his hand on the back of my neck and pushed my face into the clothing. By sticking my head in there, I would think my DNA went into the clothing. Mm -hmm. He was tampering with evidence. Complaints go back to when Martinez was a newly minted deputy county attorney in 1989. While supervisors lauded him as one of the office's most successful trial lawyers, he left a whisper trail of harassment allegations through the administrations of four county attorneys. His alleged sexual misconduct first became public during his biggest prosecution. It threatened to derail his career. The Jody Arias murder trial made Martinez famous. They began to engage in sexual relations. And obviously that is against the Mormon faith. And it provided conflict for both of them, that here they were sinning, if you will, all the time. Martinez was the lead prosecutor in a trial where the details of sex drew a national audience. Media from all over the world descended on Phoenix. The trial drew spectators who began blogging about salacious testimony. Two of them caught Martinez's eye. Cherie Ruiz and Jen Wood were known as the trial divas. Ruiz said Martinez routinely made inappropriate comments to her. Men say things and you just kind of learn to blow it off. I think what I was more surprised about was his persistence and how he continued even when I wasn't responding to him and I made it very clear that I wasn't interested in him. Ruiz told Martinez she was happily married, but he continued. Get a clue. It's, it's A, it's not appropriate. Now you're sexually harassing me. I don't feel comfortable working in my workspace. You've crossed the line. And when are you going to learn that no is no, I'm not interested. But Ruiz suspected that her business partner, Wood, was having an affair with Martinez. And she's like, it's so bad, Sheree. And I said, Jen, tell me, is it with Juan? And she said, yes, yes. And I was like, ah, shoot. The relationship would become problematic. Martinez was accused in complaints of leaking Wood confidential information, including the identity of a juror. He has denied this. He has also denied having a sexual relationship with Wood. But she had very specific details and outside of describing what his privates looked like, she described a lot more of what his body looked like. He would serenade her and it was very romantic and she said that nobody had ever serenaded about her before. She would say that he would play Barry Bell music and then they would have sex. Wood has declined comment. Our investigation has found sexual harassment allegations going back three decades. For years, none of the sexual harassment claims or unethical charges seemed to stick. But everything changed for Martinez when his old boss, Bill Montgomery, left. Rachel Mitchell and Alistair Adele, who followed him as county attorney, were the first women to leave the office. They focused on the allegations against Martinez, 
Mitchell transferred him off homicide cases and Adele fired him this spring. She cited a pattern of unprofessional conduct. Issues that developed during the Jody Arias trial didn't fade away. Karen Clark was filing and refiling ethic charges, alleging misconduct during that trial. The bar charge that I filed included allegations that Mr. Martinez had texted with, uh, sexted with a juror that had been removed, juror number three. The allegation that um, he'd had this improper relationship with a blogger to whom he was uh, leaking information. Then the Arizona Supreme Court reprimanded him for ethical misconduct in three capital murder cases. The state bar was pursuing a complaint that he harassed Maricopa County's legal staff, among several others. I gave the bar the names of 18 women. In July, Martinez walked away, cutting a deal with regulators that he would give up his law license in exchange for the ethic charges to be dropped. The women involved asked why it had taken so long.